and I was in my trench, fully awake, and uh, one of the privates coming along, he says, Corporal, he says, I think somebody's coming up, <laughs> up the hill. I said, did you, um, did you call out a password? He said, oh yeah, I don't know, I can't remember. It was something like white cloud, I think it was. We had to say white and they, they had to answer cloud. I think that's what it was. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but it was something like that. Whereas he said, yeah, he said, I shouted out and I didn't get any answer. He said, how many times did you call? He said, about three times. I said, all right, then I'll say, I'll come along then. So I, co I come along to where he had a brain gun right on the end, on the end of the ridge on, the, on this little mound. And I got into his trench and uh, he said, can you hear that? I said, yeah, I can. So I shouted out, white. I mean, you could have heard that across on D Company or A Company. No answer, and there's still a, a rustle down there, you know. I said, but I'm not having any of this, I says. I says, give me a grenade. So he gave me a 36 grenade. I pulled the pin out and I lobbed it down there. And this is about, this would be about one o'clock in the morning. And very things are very quiet at that particular time. And there was a more mighty explosion with that grenade going off. And um, I said, could you hear anything now? No. Oh, I said, we must have got it then. I said, in the meantime, the whole company was on, the, on this mold. They've all stood too. Because, I mean, the explosion, officers and all, they're all stood too. Well, I said, well, I said, that's shut them up, whoever it is down there. We'll find out in the morning. So we all go back to our natural posts. They, all the company go back to camp, if they could do. And I go back to my trench with my, because I was a two inch mortar. I was on two, I was two inch, number one on the two inch. And I had my number two, who'd done the firing. He had the, uh, he was on my right, Ollie, Ollie Ullman his name was. And uh, in the morning we found out that was a load of dogs down there. A load of wild dogs. They'd been, somebody had put some grub down there and they were rummaging it through all the way down there, you know. <laughs> oh dear. I was in, <laughs> I was called up in front of the company, uh, uh, company uh, CO, company commander. He said, what's happening? And I went through what, exactly what I said to you. He said, I suppose, he says, you could say that's a, a, a stitch in time saves nine, I suppose, it's worse to the effect. I said, well, I says, I didn't have any option. I said, I had to do it. He said, well, he said, I didn't thank you for it because you got us all on, on the TV, TV. Scared the living daylight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, that was that. 